Welcome back everyone to the Organic Lawn Warrior channel. Today I'm going to do an update video on my Toro Super Recycler Matte Black Edition. Before we get going today, make sure you smash that like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm so other people can find my channel. You can find this video. For everyone that's new out there, please consider subscribing to my channel. It's an all organic uh, lawn channel. Um, I have no herbicides in my lawn. Um, that's what I strive for, no herbicides in my lawn. It's all organic uh, material, all organic fertilizer is what I'm putting down in my lawn to achieve my nice lawn here that I got here now. So this Toro Super Recycler here, I purchased this in the fall time. Um, so I've been using it obviously in the fall 2020 and now spring 2021. Um, I really love this machine so far. I used to have a 36 inch uh, X mark. Uh, my dad used to have a lawn business. So that's what I've been using uh, for my lawn. But now that I got this nice lawn, I wanted something a little bit smaller that's not as heavy on the turf. Um, so, so far I've really liked this uh, machine so far. Another cool feature with the Super Recycler here is it has a side discharge. A lot of Hondas uh, don't have that. Um, so I think that's really cool that if you want a side discharge, you can, um, you just unlock this. There's another plate that just goes in there so the grass shoots out that way. Um, really cool feature, like I said earlier, is the flex bar here. Um, you also have the personal stowaway. Um, these two flick down, and then you can easily flip this back over and then you just flip these back in place and you can sit it up. Um, so that's really cool that you have the personal stowaway feature if you need it. Um, and again, I really like this flex bar. It really helps if you don't have a very a level lawn like myself here. Um, it really eliminates those uh, bumps as you're going over. Um, and with this aluminum deck, um, it's a really heavy deck. Um, so that deck's gonna stay down and your hands are just gonna go up and down. So that's really cool here too as well. And as you can see here on the back, I have the Toro striping kit set up on here. Um, I have a video on it. Um, what I really like about the Toro striping kit is it can come off real easily with this hook here. Um, so that's a really cool feature. So please check out my video on the Toro striping kit. So what I'm gonna do next is someone commented on my other video, they wanted to hear the engine. Um, and I probably should have done that the first time. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start it up. It's a one pool start. It's always started on the first pool. I'm going to show you here. So before I show you the personal piece, I wanted to show you that you can have a bagger on with the Toro striping kit. Um, and that's one of the really nice features with the Toro striping kit that I like. Um, is that you can have your striper off, the roller on the bottom, you can leave your attachment on, and you can still put the bagger on if you don't want to use your roller, which is really cool. So like I said earlier, check out my Toro striping kit. Um, I'll have it in the video description below, and check it out. So for the people out there that aren't familiar with the Toro's personal pace, this is how it works. You would pull down your pull bar here, you would start your engine, Basically, you would just stand behind your mower and as you push and as you're walking, you're going to push down on this bar and it's going to go at your pace, basically, is why it's called personal pace. So meaning, again, the harder you push, the, the faster you're going to walk, the more you're going to push down, the faster it's going to go. Um, I haven't had any problems with it so far. I really like this. I know a lot of the other self propels out there have like a button in the back. Um, but this, it kind of feels more natural um, as opposed to having to push down a button in the back as you go. Um, so again, Toro, this is one of their big, biggest key items on their uh, push behind mowers is this personal pace. And it's a really great feature for a homeowner with a smaller yard like I have here. So like I said, you pull back.
So for the underside here of the Toro Super Recycler, uh, we have these knockouts here. You know, it's a little bit dark maybe, but there's one here and there's one here. Um, basically, what that does is it helps with the recycler ability of this mower. It holds the blades up into the Super Recycler longer, so it has a, a, the ability to chop them into finer bits. Um, so far, I really like the mulching feature. It's really great. It doesn't really leave a lot behind. Um, so that's a really cool feature to the Super Recycler. So as you can see here, this is my lawn with the striping kit on it. It stripes a lot better with this diagonally. Um, as you can see, I did mulch the grass here. So if we come down, I know I didn't take much off, but there's really not much grass left behind there. So as you can see, Toro Super Recycler does a really good job with the mulching feature. And also with that striping kit, it really makes your lawn more defined and more dominant. So that pretty much wraps up my update video to this Toro Super Recycler here, the 21 inch matte black, uh, matte black edition here. Um, like I said, it has two other engines. Um, they have the uh, Toro engine itself with the electric start. Um, they also have the Briggs & Stratton engine uh, as well. Um, again, some of the cool features like I pointed out earlier, the personal pace, the flex bar, has the aluminum deck so it's rust free um, and also it has a really great mulching capability it has a side discharge as well so all great features you can't go wrong uh, with this mower if you found this video helpful make sure you smash that like button it helps with other people finding my video my channel and please if you're new again please consider subscribing to my channel um, I have a lot of cool content coming, um, just not lawn care stuff in your grass, but I'm going to show you some cool uh, lawn equipment and some lawn maintenance stuff as well throughout the spring and the summertime. So please consider subscribing to my channel. And if anyone's interested in the shirt that I'm wearing here, I'll leave a link in the video description below. I have an Amazon merch store. Um, you can go check it out. So again, I'll leave it in the video description below, and I'll see you in the next video.